Hello, YouTube. You know what this means. You got it. It's a Golden Age unboxing. Stay tuned. Okay guys, inside is a nice golden age key and this upload is a part of my ongoing series that I published quite so often named Building the Ultimate Comic Collection on a Budget. Now if you haven't, go check out the playlist right here. This is episode or part six. So what I do in the prior uploads is give my tips and tricks on how to build the ultimate comic collection on a budget we know times are tough we have inflation and things are not as good as they were a few years ago so you have to do your best to stretch a dollar in today's day and age for everyone and especially for me i want to continue my comic hobby but I really do not want to spend a lot of money to get keys that I am searching for. My goal is to get books that are on a budget, that are high-end books, or at least high-end keys in desirability, but I don't want to pay super amount of money to get them. So what is the book in this mailer? I'll tell you, I'll show you right now. It is Captain Marvel Adventures, number 22. And that book is from, or has a cover date of March, 1943. Now the importance about this book for golden age collectors or people who like Captain Marvel like myself, is that it is the first voice appearance of Mr. Mine. Here is the panel right here. Pretty cool. So this is the first time that Mr. Mine was discussed or his voice was shown in the Captain Marvel series. So this is a very valuable book. And collectors of golden age books really want this book because it is a classic first appearance now there are three captain marvel adventures on ebay right now there is a 5.5 and it's a cgc graded book and the seller is asking 844 dollars and 95 cents there is a raw copy on eBay right now. The seller is asking $462 and one penny. Don't forget that penny. And then there is a third. It's a CBCS graded 4.0. And it's from my comic shop. And my comic shop is asking $1,040. So what did I pay for this book? I paid for this book $86.87 plus $9.50 in shipping. So you might be asking, Jerry, how did you get this book for so cheap? Well, right here, as you can see, a portion of the cover is ripped. The good thing about it is it's connected to the book right here. And the seller showed the pictures. There's no tape hopefully holding it. I believe that there isn't. And it is connected to the book. So we're in good shape right here. It's connected. So if I clean this up nice and get it encapsulated, this book is going to be a universal grade and this whole section I'll be able to keep on the book. If I taped it 
and it was completely removed, then this book would be considered a restored book. So this is just a great World War II cover with Captain Marvel Battle Shipyard Sabotage. Look at this guy with a bomb blowing up or at least attempting to blow up the shipyard. Now, what was cool about these books during this era was that there were cutout cards in the back, as you can see. And I do have many of these books with the cutout cards intact. I do have a few of the books with actually the whole section cut out. Now, this is a beautiful book, and I am very happy. Oh, and the centerfold is detached too, which is fine. I have no issue with that. Look at that, Captain Nazi. So this is just a wonderful piece of history, of comic history, and I'm very happy that I was able to pick this book up for under a hundred dollars and it presents well it's all there minus this ripped cover and we're not going to manhandle it that much actually we could if i do it this way if we just take the the board and we keep it so the piece is flat and it doesn't manipulate too much so i don't know if we're able to see this but let's just thumb through it and so you can get a good look at this book and you can see the history that I was able to obtain. Look at that. Here is Adolf Hitler. Hitler again. That looks like Goering. Goebbels. That looks like perhaps, I don't know if that's supposed to be Mussolini. I don't think so. But this is just, a, oh, maybe it is. Yes, that's supposed to be Mussolini. So this is just a wonderful piece of history. And I'm happy that I was able to pick it up. And it's definitely, definitely a cool book. But it's a book that you would want to get encapsulated because if you play around with it too much, you can hurt it based on that cover. There's Steamboat right there. It's just a wonderful piece of history, and I'm very happy that I was able to pick it up for the price. So don't be scared, guys, to pick up books if they have ripped covers or things like this. But the key thing that you have to look out for is whether the ripped piece is connected to the cover. If it's still connected to the cover, it will be a universal grade. And if it's not connected and just attached with tape, that's where you get to the dreaded purple label. And whether you care about that sort of thing, it makes no difference. If you don't care, buy it. If not, you can always take it off for a universal and remove the tape. So short upload. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate your support and stay tuned. <laughs>